Hey everyone, this is Matthias with Propeller Ed Software and welcome to this recent sound design video. Actually, you might be wondering what is a recent sound design video anyway? Well, this is a new video series we're doing because we think uh, Reason's modular rack, and especially the Combinator, really does open up enormous creative possibilities for patch creation and sound design. So me and James Bernard will show you some useful patches and then break them down for you so you can easily build your own variations and learn something about the different devices in Reason. Once you've checked out the videos and got some patch ideas of your own, you can actually submit your variations on our patches to us by just emailing product specialists at propellerheads.se and then in the video after we'll take a look at some of the patches you guys sent in. You can send a song file if you want but please try to keep them under 10 megabytes at least. The patch I'm going to show today is a relatively simple one, a combinator effect consisting of only two devices. It's a gated delay effect straight from the factory sound bank called the echo dial. Echo Dial is a gated delay patch and it's super simple to recreate because it's actually just two devices, the Echo and the Alligator. So I have an ID8 set up here with its own mix channel and I'm gonna open the insert effect section because this is where I'll be creating my combinator. If you didn't know, the insert effect section in every mix channel and audio track is actually like a combinator. So if I show the programmer here, you'll see you have the four buttons and four rotaries from the combinator. So you can actually open Combinator Effects patches and save Combinator Effects patches just by using the Insert Effects section instead. So to start off, I'm gonna create the Echo. So just right click here, go to Effects, and the Echo. And after this, while holding Shift so it does an other route, I'm going to create an Alligator. So I'm gonna turn down the dry wet knob a bit here and then just listen back to how it sounds now with just the Echo. A pretty standard delay. So what I'm gonna do first, before I route the alligator in, is just adjust the echo to get a nice stereo delay. I'm gonna change the timing here a bit, to 1 8th, and then offset the right channel with 1 16th note. And I'm gonna adjust the feedback to, to a bit more here, and add some tape limiting with the drive. That's more what I want. Now let's flip the rack around and route in the alligator. So I'm going to use the breakout jacks here on the Echo. And the breakout jacks actually lets you connect a device into the feedback chain of the Echo. This means that every time the delay feeds back, i.e. repeats, it goes through whatever is connected to the breakout jacks. So when I do this with the alligator, it will first come out of the Echo, will be gated by the alligator, go back into the echo and then go out and get gated again, etc. So let's route this up. Take the breakout output from the echo into the input of the alligator. Then take the main output of the alligator into the breakout input of the echo. So let's flip back around here. I'm gonna select the first pattern on the alligator and take a quick listen to how it sounds. That's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna see if I can find a cooler pattern. I'm gonna go up here somewhere and see. Thirty-six was pretty cool. And then finally, I'm going to add some phaser and delay to the different gate channels here while listening back. And 
And there we have it. That's the basis of the echo dial. The patch in the factory sound bank called the echo dial is actually using some um, other settings than this. I think it uses pattern one, if I'm not mistaken. And it also has some combinator shortcuts. So I've assigned rotary one, for example, to the timing. But you can check out this patch in the factory sound bank under delays and echoes. You can really get some interesting delay textures actually by using this technique. And since Alligator and the Echo are quite flexible devices, I'm sure you can take this even further than I did. Hopefully you got inspired to make your own Echo Dial style patch, some gated delays. And if you do, send them to us at productspecialist at propellerheads.se and we'll feature some of the submissions in the next recent sound design video. Until next time.